Cutting up longer videos into shorter clips can be, well, let's face it, time consuming, uh, boring, <laughs> maybe even tedious. But I found a tool that'll make this way easier for you and save you tons of time. Hey, Evan here with Staley Media, coming at you with another video. I wanna show you a new tool uh, that I've been working with and trying out for cutting up longer videos into short clips, perfect for social media. This tool is called Clip, clip.ai. You can find that online. Uh, they reached out to me recently to test out their product, which is in beta and it's getting ready to be released fully to the public. They're not paying me for this. I just wanted to create a video to share um, how I'm using it and what I think about it as a little gift to them and hopefully to help you guys uh, understand how to use something like this. So it looks like this, it's a very simple user interface. You just hit this button upload a file of your choice. It'll just go here and when it's ready, it's gonna highlight sections of the video that it thinks will be great for cutting up into smaller videos. And when it's ready, it emails you, lets you know it's done. You come here and you click this, see highlights, and voila. And when you first do it, there's a prompt that pops up where you can pick um, how many highlights you want and how long you want each one to be, like a rough uh, range. You even type in uh, keywords and, and that kind of thing to let the product know what to look for and, and different clips to, to pick out from it, which is really cool. So for this video, it's a previous uh, video on our channel. I uploaded just to kind of test it out and see if I can get it to work. It's about a five minute long video. I told it to pick five highlights, roughly uh, 30 to 60 seconds each. So that's the range I put. When it was done, it popped up with these. So it, you can click on it. It'll give you a transcript of what of basically the audio. It'll show you some of the keywords it used. I um, mean, hit play to pop it up like this. You can test it out in context, or you can just download just the clip itself right from here. Now you might think, well, okay, the risk is it picks a section of the video that's lame, boring, or just not, not great. But actually I went through and checked the highlights. They're actually a pretty good set. Segments. I mean, this is kind of stuff I would probably pick out myself, to be honest. So it's uh, saving me actually a lot of time identifying um, clips to use, which I think was really handy. So what you could do is upload a longer video. I mean, you can even do, say, a longer 30 minute keynote that was recorded at an event or something that you did. You could upload it here and just pull out tons of social media, short social media clips to use from that talk. It took me about maybe five minutes to finally finish what it was doing. But if I did that myself or something, something like that, that might take a good, I don't know, half an hour, hour maybe, I don't know, to pick out stuff like that, depending on how many clips I was looking for. So the fact that I did this in five minutes and uh, saved me, I don't know how much time I would have spent, but a lot of time. So they got some cool features coming out pretty soon. Um, they mentioned they're gonna add a, a trimming feature so you can trim the exact in and out points of the clips that it picks. There's also gonna be the ability to download transcripts, which I think will be super handy just because I, I would love to use that as a for myself as like a blog post, but I'm sure a lot of other people could benefit from that too, is just be able to transcript a, a, a longer highlight or maybe an entire video and download that and use that as a blog post. Be cleaning up a little bit beforehand. They did say this works with audio too. I haven't really personally tested it with an MP3 file to see if it has the same effect, but in theory, I believe you can do that the same thing. Here's another cool feature too, is you can type uh, words up here in the search box and it'll find that word pop, uh, right here to highlight it for each highlight. So if you're looking for a specific section of a specific segment, even you can just type in one word and it'll highlight exactly where that is in the, the transcript, the captions, which is amazing. Anyway, the point is chopping up longer footage into smaller videos can take a lot of time, depending on how many you're doing, the length and how long the source clip is. So the fact that something like this exists is that you can use a tool like this that does it automatically for you, picks out sections to use, shorter sections that are actually really good. That's pretty amazing. If this is something that you would do on a, a, a longer, regular basis, say like weekly or even monthly, this might be a really good tool to check out. Plus with the ability to just pull, download a transcript and possibly even, like I said, I haven't tested it, but download an audio file. Man, this could be, you could get a long video, social clips, podcast episode, and blog post, all with just a couple of clicks of a button. Nice job, Clip. I like the tool. I think when I'm gonna start using it, maybe a little bit more, play around with it some more for my own content. Uh, it's worked well the first time I tried it, so looking forward to using it more often for some more stuff. Now you just go to clip.ai. Here's their main landing page right now. You can enter your email address and get access. Uh, like I said, I think it's still in beta, but they're getting ready to push it out more and add some more features to it and coming soon. I'm always on the lookout for good tools that helps me do things better, save time, etc. So this is really cool. I'd recommend you check it out. What tools do you use these days to speed up your process in creating videos? I'd love to know. Drop a comment below, maybe even a link if you're a specific tool that you use. I'd love to learn about it. Well, it's been fun. It's been Evan with Daily Media. I'll catch you next time.